Okay, so today I'm testing two very different 3D printers, the Ender 3 S1 and the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. But here's the twist. They're both running completely off-grid. They're running on my solar panel setup here, uh, which is the All Powers S2000 Pro. Which one sips less power and still nails the print? Let's find out. <laughs> Now the build volume on the Mini is not as good as the S1. This is torture testing. I don't expect either printer to actually come out and do something today because as I say, it's you can see the trees behind me. It's about 21 miles an hour here. So we're working off an All Powers S2000 Pro, this thing, and a 200 watt solar panel. Totally off grid, nothing else out here but wind and sun. So I thought I'd torture test these two. You can see the Ender 3 S1 hasn't even started yet. It's doing its calibration. <laughs> the Bamboo Labs is way quicker, I have to say and uh, it is actually sticking to the table it's just doing what it's supposed to do it doesn't care that it's windy now just check the screen on it the ender 3 s1 is still heating the bed <laughs> now it's 20 miles an hour it's a bigger bed than all the rest but the bed on that one is insulated from underneath so it's only losing heat through the top now it's a big surface area as well but bamboo labs just kicked off and it's <laughs> it's just doing it one thing i do like about the bigger bamboo labs and some of the other ones these uh, xy printers is um, you know if I can put multiple filaments on one that'd be good so I'm looking at stuff like that but look if you're bored and the power is gone or you're living off grid or you know you're a prepper or something and you needed to print something in an emergency now, so at least it shows that you can print off grid you can print on you know just sun power now I'm making shadow on my panel at the moment but um, I'm making about it's a 200 watt panel and at the moment I'm making about 190 watts if I'm not standing in front of it which is very good I can't get the Creality which is my own printer I can't get it to kick off and actually just print so the Bamboo Labs is this far into the print fantastic and this one, I had to start it again. So nothing done on the Ender 3 S1. And the Van Boo Labs is just, yeah, let's do that. I get that sorted. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't know. I know which one I'm not impressed with. So the A1 Mini is quite a bit through the print. The Ender 3 S1 hasn't even started. So the Ender 3 S1 is trying to heat up the nozzle. It's at 189, it wants 205, it's gone slightly over, it should kick off. The table's vibrating a lot from the Bamboo Labs. So one thing about the Creality printer is I prefer the, uh, the screen on it, it's much bigger. Bamboo Labs is a bit small and my fingers seem to uh, miss the mark when I'm messing with the menus. Okay, so there you go, the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini just finished the print. <laughs> and the Creality Ender 3S1 didn't bother its arse, <laughs> it didn't even start. Whoa. Okay, so there's the print. No stringing, perfect little print. Fantastic. So that's for the garden. Um, I stuck a couple of loops on the back of it, you know, so you can put a spike in it and just put it in the grass. So that's it. Uh, the Bamboo Labs knocked the arse out of the uh, Creality Ender 3 S1. And uh, if I was buying a printer, um, well, actually, I'm in the market for a printer now myself, and so I know which one I'm going to buy next, and it won't be anything from Creality. Sorry, Creality, not this time anyway. So, look, I'll leave it there for now. If you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down there, that'd be great. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck.